What is going on, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Next Life. Um, today, we're going to be talking about four movies that I feel will definitely, most definitely, change the way you perceive reality, or at, le at least question that and bring up a bunch of questions for you to consider. Um, you know, if you're like me, you're someone who, if you're going to sit down and watch a movie for two hours, you want it to be something uh, that is going to fulfill you, or um, I would say get you to access different parts of your brain or your imagination that maybe you haven't considered or you haven't quite quite gone to yet, or, or even um, just put you into a different world um, and take you, take you outside the, the boundaries of this like physical space uh, and move into these limitless potentials or possibilities that could be existing simultaneously uh, right in this present moment. Um, and so if that's something that you're looking for, that you're interested in, then I think uh, these four movies that I'm about to suggest are something that um, you'll really be into. So you probably, you may have at least seen one of these, uh, I'm sure, like some, there's, uh, there's two of these are mainstream and two of these are more independent. Um, so Actually, probably three are independent, one's, one's mainstream. So, anyways, let's go into this. the first movie that I want to bring up. Um, this one is, for sure, one of my favorite movies. It's called Enter the Void, and I'll just play um, the, uh, the trailer for you guys. So, Enter the Void is, was directed by Gaspar, Gaspar Noe, and um, you may have seen his recent movie, movie Love, um, that was actually in his first, I believe his first movie that was actually in, mainstream in theaters. Um, that movie actually didn't get great um, ratings, although I think it was a decent movie. It definitely wasn't one of his, his best. This movie, Enter the Void, is phenomenal. It is an experience. It will it will push you into I guess it's like it'll take you to spaces that you never thought you could go in ter in terms of a movie. Um, he it's like I would very much recommend wearing um, headphones while watching this movie because it's he does a, a, a phenomenal job of really of really taking you alongside this experience. So essentially, in a nutshell, what it's about is um, this this guy who. Um, who dies? Who's who? Uh, who who gets killed? <laughs> and basically, he goes into uh, this a this afterlife dimension in which he's still kind of on Earth. And so, basically, like I want to say, like twenty percent of the movie is like of an actual, you know, like like he's alive and, and interacting with things. And the next eighty percent is where he is just this awareness, this like source consciousness awareness um, that's floating um, floating around and, and he's having experiences through just this observational state. And the way that the movie is conveyed is just so interesting. It's so, it's, it's heartbreaking and it, it's exciting. It's, 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 it's inquisitive. It's, it's thought provoking. And it's something that like, if you're interested in even like the, the Tibetan book of the dead, cause that's what this was inspired from that book. Um, then you'll find this very fascinating because it does fall along that, um, that line of thought. So, so I would highly recommend that movie. Um, he does have a few other movies. One, uh, one movie that he has is called um, Irreversible, which actually came, I believe, before Enter the Void. Irreversible is extremely intense. It it goes into a uh, like a scene about rape. Um, but if you you know, it's like I would recommend watching Enter the Void first because if, I feel like if you watch that movie first and you're not exactly like you know into these super intense sort of films, uh, it could turn you off to wanting to see Enter the Void, but uh, Enter the Void is not like that. It's not like this, it's intense, but it's not like this, like, brutally, like, it's, it doesn't have that brutal intensity, and it's more focused on the spiritual com concept. So, really, really interesting stuff there. Um, the next movie that I'm going to bring up is called Waking Life. This movie is directed by Richard Linklater, one of my favorite directors ever. Richard Linklater is known for um, going into the philosophy of life. Um, in in most of his his movies, he is going deep into like his thoughts and perspectives um, as to what life is, what the purpose of life is, like what it's like. What are these like weird weird concepts that we don't quite understand, like dream states? What what are dream states? And this this movie really goes into like 
understanding like what it you know what really is a dream state and like how does that relate to our reality so it's it's basically about a boy that that wakes up in a dream and then he wakes up again in another dream and then again in another dream and he keeps waking up in in different dreams to the point where he doesn't know he loses track of what reality really is and so as he's going along this is, this is more so the the movie is very much a it's almost a almost a documentary in the sense um, because he's he's essentially walking around and having interactions with different people who happen to have these very unique philosophical perspectives of what reality is um, and you know if you just go ahead and read the script um, behind this movie, you will be absolutely fascinated. It's it's just the 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 dialogue is it's it's heavy in 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 philosophy, and it it, it will make you think in a completely different way. Um, I, I at first was kind of turned off. Um, but from watching this, like before knowing anything about it, I was turned off from watching it because it was kind of like this cartoony perspective. But it actually is, I forget what the style is called. However, it is, um, they did film it and then they added like a like some sort of semantic overlay um, to make it look more of like an animation. But um, it, it actually is a, it's actually an interesting um it's it's like if you're not looking it's not it doesn't feel like a cartoon i want to say um it definitely as you watch it more you're like okay this isn't a cartoon this is actually this is definitely like a real movie it's just it the i, I think the the yeah, the overlay definitely makes it more dreamy, dreamlike, and it allows him to be more abstract with the rea reality. So you can kind of start to see, it's, you kind of get an idea of what is reality and what is not, um, or at least, you know, whatever you define as reality and not reality. But um, so if you're looking for a movie that goes into the dream state, world of dream state, and, and questions that and, 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 um, and dives into that world, um, this would be, that would be a great movie for you guys. Um, next movie that I'm going to bring up is. Uh, a movie that some of you may have seen before because it's more mainstream, Cloud Atlas by the Wachowskis, um, the makers of The Matrix. Uh, this movie I really love because I'm, I'm a huge fan of The Matrix. Um, this definitely um, continues that story. Um, it's very much about how um, how there are coexisting, um, how there are timelines, um, basically how <laughs> it goes into timelines and how these how timelines can be could be the idea or the concept behind timelines coexisting all at once so basically like you know the ninth saying like the 1900s co could could be playing out right now in our present moment uh, however because we see reality more linearly um we don't we see it as like the past but what the question is like what if the past present and future were all occurring out simultaneously and on on top of that what if the past present and future could interact with each other and change the future through those interactions in the present moment so it's it's very fascinating um it's like he shows these different relationships and how they are all connected even though they're in different they're they're, they're occurring at different timelines um, yet in the end they all come together um, and, it, and it seems as though uh, well in, in this movie it, it does have that matrix feel to it it does have that feel of like like these these individuals that are like enslaved um, and they're 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 working towards liberating themselves by understanding the truth of their reality so um, if you're into the matrix if you're into you know those type of movies um, then definitely check out this one because um, you definitely won't regret seeing this one as well um, next movie that we got here is um, another one of my favorites and this one is called mr. nobody and it specific specifically focuses on the concept of string theory um, <clears throat> Basically, that that concept is that just kind of like Cloud Cloud Atlas, um, the concept of coexisting timelines, um, or or more so, um, not just coexisting timelines, but the concept that there are um, millions, billions, quadrillions, infinite realities that stem off of our choices. So essentially, like you can make a ch choice to um, let's say. 
<laughs> walk or run. You know, let's say it's like you make a choice to walk or run. Running will create a, a, a new s a potential set of realities, whereas just walking will create another potential set of realities. Because when you're walking, maybe you know, maybe you miss the bus, and and that leads you to like getting a ride from your friend, and then you know this or that happens. But if you ran, you caught the bus, and then you you were on the bus, and then you went to this way. So the concepts of string theory is that those two realities are actually actually um, existing, uh, they're, they're existing together, um, they're coexisting, that's the word, they're coexisting, um, <clears throat> and, and that the mere, and that you're, essentially you're like splitting, your reality is splitting uh, into multiple realities, and, and essentially, um, so this movie ultimately shows us that like, it's, it, it brings this sort of, emotional perspective to that that concept to that experience like if this was true what would that be like and you know if we could really like see it from that a larger perspective you know at least for me what I what I got from this movie is that like if we could see all these times occurring and this these infinite realities that are available to us occurring all at once, we would have such a greater appreciation for life, and we also wouldn't be so attached to one particular particular life, because like some of these lives play out in a very negative way, some of these lives play out in a positive way. Um, obviously, there's good and there's positive and negatives um, that that go on throughout each lifetime, but some end terribly, some end really great, um, and it's. It's definitely an inter interesting perspective. Um, this this movie in particular <clears throat> did get criticized for their interpretation of string, string theory, and, and that uh, apparently it wasn't exactly um, directly correlated with the official uh, theory of, of string theory. But to, to be honest, um, that you know, I know there's some people that that need that 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 those specifics to be there. Uh, for me. It's it's a very interesting movie, and if you just want to kind of like get your wet feet wet in terms of string theory and watch a great movie, it's just you know a, a movie that will definitely entertain you um, and cause you to think outside the box a bit. Um, I would highly recommend that as movie as well. So those are the four movies for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's all I got for today. Definitely check those out. Um, and I left all, yeah, the list is in the comments below, so if you forgot any of the movies, they're down there. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace and love.